Hey lovers, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ebon Osaemi, and today's look we are doing a very snatchable look today. Yes, I am calling it snatchable because we are being snatched, but then at the same time, natural. So a very snatchable look is what we're going for today. And without further ado, let's get straight into this snatchable makeup look. So I've already gone off camera and did my eyebrows and I'm doing a very nice eyebrows today I'm actually very impressed with how they came out because like I have problems doing my eyebrows They just never listen to me and I have very curly eyebrows also extremely curly eyebrows So for my eyebrows, I like going in first with the NYX control gel eyebrow gel, which I love very much because it literally tames my eyebrows this thing literally stays and it does not move my eyebrows one bit and then for my actual main eyebrow pencil i like going in with this la colors browy wowy browy wowy browy wowy brow pencil it's in a jet black color and i have found that this works extremely well for my eyebrows a lot better than the benefit eyebrow pencil and then I like to go in with this spoolie brush. I like using this side. And I get this from my local beauty supply store just to shape up the front of my eyebrows. And then finally, the last but not least thing of the products that I like to use on my eyebrows is, is this Benefit Microfilling Pen. I really like this pen, but I really do wish that they would go just one shade darker because I believe this only comes in three shades and right now I have the last shade. It's really good. I like using it just in front of my eyebrow. Um, ears but ears I mean here y'all I can't pronounce my E's or my H's to save my life but I really do wish that Benefit will come out with just one more shade in this so Benefit if you're watching this video I need one more shade in this in this color so since this is a very natural look we're giving it very glowy but not too glowy because we don't want to look oily and i have found that this fancy beauty pro filter mattifying primer works really well for that kind of look where it mattifies you down but not all the way down and you still have that soft glowiness and doingness to your face And then for my foundation today, I'm using this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mattifying Foundation. I mean, y'all can let me know in the comments below. Are you guys tired of seeing Fenty products on this channel? Because I feel like I've done a lot more reviews and I've used a lot more Fenty products than I have shown in other products. Like I have other foundations and I have other products, y'all. So just leave a comment down below. Are y'all tired of seeing Fenty Beauty? Because I don't get tired of seeing or using Fenty Beauty, but y'all let me know. What else do you guys want to see on my channel leave a comment down below and i promise i will do that and i promise i will use other products <laughs> so i'm just going to use this and just grab a little pump just grab this much in the back of my hand i'm not using a lot just that much and i'm pairing this two together just because they are both mattifying primer and a mattifying foundation but not overwhelmingly mattifying for both of them and then just using the beauty blender just going to use that all over my face also And then literally just taking whatever is left on the back of my hand as you can see there really isn't much left just taking whatever it is and then just putting that on my forehead because again as you guys can see in my other videos i don't like that much foundation on my forehead i like to keep it as very natural as possible and since this is a natural look we're using less so less is more in this makeup look and i'm just gonna let my foundation really sink in and soak into my skin so i'm gonna go straight into my eyes and for my eyes today i'm going to be using this eyeshadow base and it's the nyx professional white base basically um a lot of people use this and i have used this a lot in the past and i like using this because it gives my um eyeshadow a better pop of color and that's what we're going for today a very natural look but just everything really has to just you know pop out and then as y'all should know by now for my eyeshadow i'm using this jackie aina at stash anastasia beverly hills palette today also and i'm going to be using the shade credit and also the shade zale okay, so now that i have my eyelashes on don't worry the eyes are not complete yet but it's looking very good like i want to go out but we're still in quarantine 
but I want to go out. And then for concealer, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 5. Y'all, I used to, I don't know why, but I used to sleep on Juvia's Place face products. I have the blushes from the company and also the eyeshadows from the company, but I never really thought about getting any face products from them. I kid you not, she has really, really good face products. And... I'm about to show y'all so this is one of them which is the concealer shade number five it's very good it's very creamy and this dries down in a velvety matte then again just going back in with that beauty blender and just blending it out I find that with this concealer you do have to work extremely fast because it dries down immediately and also it dries down matte so you really, really want to work extremely fast. And then to contour my face, I'm going in with Juvia's Place Concealer again in the shade number one. And this is exactly why I'm loving Juvia's Place also. It's the fact that she literally has so much shades for so many different skin tones. And it works perfectly well. Like, do y'all see that? That shows up on my skin. And that is very hard to find in the makeup industry world. And also, um, I wanted something a lot more creamier than my Fenty Beauty contour stick because I do find that that has more of a dry texture to it. And I was looking for something a lot more creamier, just a lot more nicer to put on my skin during the winter time. And I found this and I am in love. It's a really good contour shade. Then for contour, you always wanna blend up, never down. So I'm moving this higher on my face because what I want for this natural look is to block out as much shadow as I can and have the center of my face be the highlight of this makeup look. And that's my powder today. You already know what I'm using. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. And I'm going to be going in with two powders actually. So the first one is the Laura Mercier one and then the second one is actually the Sasha Buttercup Banana Powder. Again, we want to really focus on the center of our face and really bring that highlighted look to the center of the face and that's what we're going for today. And now that I've put on the Laura Mercier powder, I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm going to use this to bake my under eye. Just taking a little bit of that. I'm just gonna basically just, I'm not gonna press this in, I'm just gonna leave it exactly like that under my under eye. I know that looks like a lot, but trust me, it's going to all come off. So before I go on and bronze up my face, I'm going to be using this Real Technique setting brush and my Fancy Beauty Soft powder foundation and just going to be using that to dust off this Sasha Buttercup powder. And then using my minted bronzer out of office shade, I'm going to be using this to bronze up my face and you know I love using this bronzer on my face it's really pretty it just gives my face a lot more dimension it brings the color back to my face and i'm just extremely 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 obsessed with this bronzer i found this bronzer through nima tang on youtube and y'all she is so beautiful like i mean do y'all see her skin just so nice and rich and chocolatey and this is gorgeous, phenomenal. So I'm gonna go back into my Jackie Aina palette and I'm just gonna smoke out my under eye again using the exact same color that I used on my crease, the credit color. And then for my blush today, I'm going in with this Jovius Place blush in the shade Bella. It's a very nice cold shade color. I really like this kind of blushes. I think it looks really good on any skin tone. So I'm going in to this Fancy Beauty highlighter, which is one of them is Ginger Binge and the other one is Mosca Mill. So I'm going to be using the ginger binge side just because it's a little bit more toned down and less sparkly than the other side, which is Moscow Mew. I'm going to be using two lip liners today, and one of them is the KKW Beauty Nude 3 lip liner, and the second one is the Juvia's Place Color lip liner. And then for my Holy Grail lipstick, I'm in love with this matte lipstick. I feel like I don't know where I've been. I've been sleeping on this matte lipstick, but it looks so good and any brown skin girl and it is the morphe matte lipstick in the shade true story and y'all this is perfect if you're looking for a perfect nude color 
these three combos work extremely well together and that's pretty much what I like to do with my lips now and if you are a glossy kind of girl I would definitely recommend going in and topping this off with the Fancy Beauty Cream Lip Glosses in the shade Honey Waffles this complements this lip color extremely extremely well if you are a glossy lip kind of person but I find that for this makeup look having a matte lips just you know says a lot without really saying a lot boom award and that's pretty much it for this makeup look am i giving you snatched am i giving you natural am i giving you snatchable <laughs> leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this makeup look and i hope you guys sincerely enjoyed this makeup tutorial and yeah don't forget to like this video comment subscribe hit that bell notification button and also share this out to every single person that you know and until then stay safe stay healthy and i'll see y'all in my next video bye